Hi, this is Howard Ten. Welcome back to the Micro Shop. I've been not very productive the last few months, so this is kind of a shop talk video. Well, it's more of a slideshow, really, about some things that I've done uh, to get ready to be a little bit more productive here in the Micro Shop. I hacked this together a few years back for my number seven jointer plane. It's pretty simple, it's just a couple of one by fours with uh, some triangle br braces. I didn't really even make a nice job of it in sand. I, didn't, I was in a hurry so I didn't really bother to do much more than put this little strip of wood to keep it from falling off, which I've since found was a complete and total waste of time because there's no way it would ever fall off anyway. And I know some people might say, oh, you shouldn't put leather there because the plain bottom will rust. Uh, where I live, even though it's raining outside right now, it's actually pretty dry and I've never had a plain rust from these. Put there also to leave a little gap for the blade so that the blade is never in contact with the wood. But I've never had anything rust while this, uh, this leather was on here. So I'm gonna reuse this and just move it around
Well, there is my shooting plane rack at this point. I know I'm probably going to get a few thumbs down for that, but, and to be honest with you, I had thumbs it down myself. It's too close to the workbench and it's a little low. A little box that's above it, I installed those a while ago to keep blades for different planes and things like that handy. And that's not going to work. That plane should be higher. Now, what that means in the end is that this whole rack I think is nearing the end of its useful life and I'm going to have to replace it with something that will hold things more efficiently as well as getting rid of the clutter that's in like these two things here are very poorly sorted out there's a lot of wasted space so while I'm not 100% happy with that it gets the thing off the bench and out of the way to a certain extent and am I going to have to deal with that? Yes, I'm going to have to deal with that, but I don't think I'll do that right now. I got other things I'd rather do and to be honest, I would just as soon put a little bit more thought into this than just to tear that little thing off, which is more trouble than it's worth. Mm -hmm.